Hello, beautiful souls. So today, another lesson at our service. Lesson 105, God's peace and joy are mine. So I'm really seeing how Jesus is drilling home the point that perfect happiness, joy, and peace are our natural state of being when we accept what we are. And I feel it's to help cultivate our willingness to do these lessons to remember that this is the truth for us all to share in. And so anytime we experience anything that is not perfect happiness, he has given us these lessons to undo our misthinking and to truly see the reality in its place. And the reality is that happiness and joy and peace are mine. So let's see what the furthered lesson for today has for us to experience. God's peace and joy are yours. Today we will accept them, knowing they belong to us. And we will try to understand these gifts increase as we give them. Crucial. Thank you, Jesus, for the golden rule. And we will try to understand these gifts increase as we receive them. They are not like to the gifts the world can give in which the giver loses as he gives the gift. The taker is richer by his loss. These are not gifts, but bargains made with guilt. So giving and receiving, we receive what we give and we do not lose anything. The truly given gift entails no loss. It is impossible that one can gain because another loses. This implies a limit and an insufficiency. No gift is given thus. Such gifts are but a bid for a more valuable return, a loan with interest to be paid in full, a temporary lending meant to be a pledge of debt to be repaid with more than was received by him who took the gift, meaning that an ego is what gives a form and believes that they are gonna lose something by the giving or they're gonna give in hopes that they get something for this giving. But true giving of the heart space, true giving like our Father gives, is a giving with expecting nothing in return. And that when we give, we automatically receive because giving and receiving are the same. So we do receive from what we give. They just come in innumerable, uncountable, limitless, powerful ways that we can't possibly foresee. But the ego focuses on the getting and that it needs to get interest for what it's given you in order for it to feel valuable enough to have given that gift, right? But we're not looking at giving as being the giving of this world because the true giving of not God is not the giving of this world and we're being made clear with that right now. The strange distortion of what giving means pervades all levels of the world you see. It strips all meaning from the gifts you give and leaves you nothing in the ones you take. A major learning goal this course has set is to reverse your view of giving so you can receive. This is crucial, beautiful souls. A major learning goal that this course has set is to rever reverse your role of giving or rather reverse your view of giving so you can receive. Forgiving has become a source of fear, and so you would avoid the only means by which you can receive. Hmm. Accept God's peace and joy, and you will learn a different way of looking at a gift. God's gift will never lessen when they are given away. They but increase thereby. As heaven's peace and joy intensify when you accept them as God's gifts to you, so does the joy of your creator grow when you accept his joy and peace as yours. Just like when we are receiving the gifts of joy and peace for us within our minds, we're accepting it on behalf of all humanity, we're accepting it for our brother Jesus, we're accepting it for our Father God, so that all of us can be restored to this joy and happiness and peace that is innate in what we are. So this is a beautiful thing. When we accept the truth about ourselves that God wills us only happiness and peace, is when we then can give it away and it intensifies. Trust me, beautiful souls. This is a true experience that I have. When we give, we do receive. True giving is creation. It extends the limitless 
to the unlimited, eternity to timelessness, and love unto itself. Wow, that's beautiful. I'm going to read that one more time. It extends the limitless to the unlimited, eternity to timelessness, and love unto itself. It adds to all that is complete already, not in simple terms of adding more, for that implies that it was less before. It adds, by letting what cannot contain itself fulfill its aim of giving everything it has away, securing it forever for itself. This is reminding me of what Jesus would share, and, and, and I remember him mentioning this specifically to a man who had all the riches and wealth in the world, and says, Jesus, how can I follow you? And he says, go give everything that you have away to the poor, and then come follow me. And this is, did you want to add there, babe? No. Okay. And because for me, this is a true um, testament to the willingness that a brother has to remember what true giving is. And that when we give our wealth to another, we are literally receiving that wealth unto ourselves even greater so. But that the gifts of God have nothing to do with the wealth that we've accumulated in form. But it is the wealth of spirit. It is the wealth of the kingdom of God. And you better believe that when we've accepted the wealth of the kingdom of God, that not only does wealth show up in form, but it shows up in mind. And it shows up to be shared with our brothers and sisters instead of to be kept by ourselves alone. So this is the most beautiful demonstration of giving that I'm really excited for today. Today, accept God's peace and joy as yours. Let him complete himself as he defines completion. That's the thing. We don't need things of form to complete us. We are complete because of what we are as God created us to be. So let him complete himself as he defines completion. You will understand that what completes him must complete his son as well. He cannot give through loss. No more can you receive his gift of joy and peace today, and he will thank you for your gift to him. So we are asking to receive the gift that our Father has already given us. When it dawns upon our mind that it has already been given us, then we recognize that we have received the gift. And as we receive the gift, we can give it away and allow everybody to celebrate in this given gift with us. How beautiful is this? So today, our practice periods will start a little bit differently. Begin today by thinking of those brothers you have denied by you the peace and joy that are their right under the equal laws of God. So think about another brother who, have you, de who you have denied the peace and joy as being their right under the equal law of God. Here, you denied them to yourself. When we deny to a brother, we deny to ourselves. And here, you must return to claim them as your own. Think of your own enemies a little while and tell each one as he occurs to you. My brother, peace and joy I offer you, that I might have God's peace and joy as mine. My brother, peace and joy I offer you, that I, may, that I may have God's peace and joy as mine. Again, this is the giving. As we give it, we will receive it. So it says here, Thus you prepare yourself to recognize God's gift to you and let your mind be free of all that would prevent success today. Now are you ready to accept the gift of peace and joy which God has given you? Now are you ready to experience the joy and peace you have denied yourself? Now you can say, God's peace and joy are mine, for you have given what you would receive. Wow. And hence is the course fully explained. Done. Yeah. <laughs> and hence is the course fully explained. Done. Exactly. So this is quite a potent lesson today. Truly, I'm even doodling in my book, underline, underline, right? Because this is the main part of the entire course. Give it to another brother and you will receive it to yourself. So anyone that we still hold grievances about, or we mm. think... Sorry. What? We can... He's talking about 
not giving it to our brother per se because God has already given it he's just saying stop denying it to your brother mm -hmm. and you will have stopped denying it to yourself and so you will know it is here and now beautiful yeah that's that thank you baby yeah so stop denying it to your brother and you'll stop denying it to yourself what do you know this is the trick of the golden rule um so this is so beautiful so to continue forward you must succeed today if you prepare your mind as we suggest for you have let all bars to peace and joy be lifted up and what is yours can come to you at last right because the bars are the grievances and the judgments that we have on our brothers by denying them the gift that God has already given so when we no longer deny the gift that God has already given to our brothers the veil lifts the bar lifts and we are now free to receive the gifts God has given us for ourselves <laughs> at least remember hourly um, nope so tell yourself, God's peace and joy are mine. And close your eyes a while and let his voice assure you that the words you speak are true. His voice, the Holy Spirit, will assure you that the words he speaks, God's peace and joy are mine, are true. Spend your five minutes thus with him each time you can today. But do not think that less is worthless when you cannot give him more. At least remember hourly to say the words which call on him to give you what he wills to give and wills you to receive. So all we need to do is remember. Remember that God's peace and joy are mine. And in that remembering, we can have an experience that this is what God wills for us and receive it. Determine not to interfere today with what he wills. And if a brother seems to tempt you to deny God's gift to him, see it as but another chance to let yourself receive the gifts of God as yours. Then bless your brother thankfully and say, My brother, peace and joy I offer you, that I may have God's peace and joy as mine. My brother, peace and joy I offer you that I may have God's peace and joy as mine. And finally, my brother, peace and joy I offer you that I may have God's peace and joy as mine. <sighs> Beautiful application of the golden rule today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, fellow brothers and sisters, doing the course with me. And I love you all so deeply. Enjoy today's lesson. God's peace and joy are mine. And so it is. Have a blessed day. Bye.